There's more Democrats, and then added with independents in Virginia, than there are Republicans. That's a fact. But all these parents, they're so stupid. They're coming to these school board meetings on their own time, putting their, their names and their reputations on the line, challenging what's in the books, what their kids are being taught. And Joe Scarborough, sitting on his fat ass in Jupiter, Florida, is telling everybody, oh, this is a Republican thing. And my understanding is it isn't even being taught in the state of Virginia. He takes no time whatsoever to look. I live in the state of Virginia. It's being taught in the state of Virginia. It's being taught in the state of New Jersey. It's being taught in virtually every state in the union, in virtually every classroom in the union. How hard is it for MSNBC, NBC News to find some investigative reporters to dig this up? If Christopher Rufo can do it on his own, as well as other people like me, why is it so difficult for these multi-billion dollar corporate media outlets to do it? Why? Because they're liars. That's why. Go. The big issue. Republicans staying one step ahead of the Democratic Party, uh, and they're still fighting by Marcus of Queensbury rules uh, and, and getting pushed all over the board. The Democrats are being pushed all over the board? Poor Joe. That bulbous nose must represent some kind of behavior in the past. I don't know. Go. Let's start there. Critical race theory not taught in Virginia schools. And you, clown, are a liar. Ladies and gentlemen, so I just took a 30-second break. But you wouldn't know. We have the greatest production staff. They know how to put it together. And I went on my iPhone, and here's Christopher Rufo. Ready? So you heard what these two fools said. In 2015, then-Governor McAuliffe's Department of Education instructed Virginia public schools to, quote, embrace critical race theory, unquote, in order to, quote, re-engineer attitudes and belief systems, unquote. They explicitly endorse CRT. He can't wiggle out of this one with word games. And he provides the graphics right under his uh, post. He goes on. Under the Northam administration, Democrat, blackface, Klan outfit. Superintendent of Public Instruction James Lane sent a memo to Virginia Public Schools endorsing, quote, foundations of critical race theory in education, unquote, calling it an important analytic tool, and that can further spur development in education. Again, he provides a copy of the memo, a copy of the memo. Right now on its website, he writes, the Virginia Department of Education recommends, quote, critical race theory in education, unquote, as a best practice and derives its definitions of racism, and he quotes, white supremacy and education equity explicitly from critical race theory. At the district level, he says, Loudoun County Schools has hired a consulting firm to implement critical race theory and developed a high school class explicitly teaching, quote, critical race theory. Even the district superintendent admitted the curricula, quote, aligned with the ideology of critical race theory. Again, if you were watching CBS News the other day, uh, you would have been lied to. If you were watching MSNBC this morning, you were lied to. Now, why do they keep lying about this? Why do they keep lying about this? Because they're trying to paint parents as racist, not just Republican Party. Look, all whites aren't Republican. I mean, the, again, the fact that Youngkin is, is uh, leading in some of these polls or tied in some of these polls shows you that it's not just Republicans. But that's the narrative. That's the scenario. Wipe that smirk off your face, you jackass. Joe. Joe Scarborough. Go ahead. And the video clip is really funny and can be found on Twitter if you want to go find it. Um, but it does show that Republicans are good. It's dishonest. It's, it's not a good faith argument, but they are talented at branding. They're talented at making an election about certain issues, even if they don't have any basis in reality. And those issues, in this case, critical race theory, propagated over and over and see, over. See what a liar they are? What li how they lie? Propagated over and over and over and over again. Uh, no, it's propagated over and over and over again because it's occurring over and over and over again. You had parents showing up at these different school board meetings and not just in Loudoun County, Virginia, talking about what their children are being taught in the classroom. Now, are we supposed to believe the parents of these children? The children come home, the textbooks come home, the parents were watching, you know, two years ago or so? Or are we going to believe these people who are just pushing the propaganda? They're the same people who pushed Russia collusion, 
on and on and on. The same people who push that Donald Trump is going to be indicted over Stormy Daniels or some such nonsense. The same people who put Michael Avenatti on time and time and time again. The same people who are relying on Mueller to come up with a report that condemned Trump over Russia. The same people who were the recipients of leaks from the FBI, intelligence agencies, the Department of Justice, the Hillary campaign, and ran with them. The same people who covered up the Hunter Biden scandal before the election. The same people who covered up the name of the phony whistleblower that they used in the Ukraine case. And I could go on and on and on. This is what they do. These are them. And I just showed you, and there'll be parents galore that would tell you, yes, they're being taught critical race theory. But the Democrats and the media, one and the same, can't make up their minds. Well, are they being taught critical race theory? On the one hand, they say no. On the other hand, they say, so what? Don't you want to teach about slavery? Critical race theory isn't teaching about slavery. American history teaches about slavery. It's pushing Marxism. Go. It's interesting talking about uh, these issues that Republicans are using uh, so effectively in Virginia. I saw a clip last night of a guy being interviewed on mm -hmm. the news, and he said that critical race theory was his top issue. And he said, what is it? Oh, I don't know what it is, but it's my... <laughs> oh, wait a minute. We have a candidate running for governor in Virginia, Terry McAuliffe, who couldn't explain, explain what critical race theory is. Remember that? One of the actual local journalists, a real journalist, and she kept pressing him. You keep saying it's a dog whistle. It's divisive. Can you tell us what critical race theory is? I don't have to. It's divisive. It's a dog whistle. She kept pressing him and pressing him and pressing him. And you don't remember Chowderhead here, uh, the morning schmo, mocking McAuliffe, do you? No. Go ahead. Do you know anything about, no, I don't know anything, well, but it's a top issue. And it just reminds me of what the Republicans did the year before with defund the police. We had Nancy Pelosi on, uh, we had uh, every, just about every Democratic leader on, uh, and they all said the same thing. No, we're not for defund. Wait a minute. How many mayors did you have on, you jerk? Minneapolis, as I speak, is having a vote today on whether to eliminate their police force and replace with some public safety office to eliminate their police force. The murder rate's going through the roof. They've been slashing the budget to the cops. Remember New York City? DeCamio took a billion dollars away, a billion dollars away from the NYPD. Remember he, he eliminated the 600-man unit of uh, undercover detectives who were out there doing proactive police work? I could go on and on and on. Is this some kind of a joke? I mean, they've effectively defunded the Border Patrol, haven't they? By tying their hands, they've effectively defunded ICE. Not technically, but effectively told them you're not allowed to round up people and deport them. Or on the border, you're not allowed to stop people and deport them either. You're not even allowed to ask them about their, their uh, vaccines, if they've had any. You're not allowed to test them. It goes on and on and on. I don't know what this clown's smirking about. This is the disconnect. This is the disconnect. The media are in the upper middle, actually no, the lower upper class. You're looking at two people. I guarantee you Scarborough makes millions of dollars a year as does his wife, what's her face. They make millions of dollars a year. This guy on the right, as goofy as he is, I'll bet she makes half a million dollars a year. None of them make what the average people make out there. There's a complete disconnect between the media in this country and what goes on in this country. For instance, these people, you can see behind Scarborough, there's the Capitol building and the Supreme Court. Well, it just so happens the Capitol building and the Supreme Court aren't next to each other. They're across a park from each other. He's doing a show from Jupiter, Florida. I have no problem with Jupiter, Florida. I have a home in Jupiter, Florida. When I'm in Florida doing my show, Mr. Producer, don't I say I'm in Florida doing my show? He wants you to think, oh, he's just a hardworking journalist there. Look at the other goofball. Same thing. Same thing. They have no connection with what goes on in this world. None. Go ahead. Let's reform the police, but let's support the police. Wait a minute. The Democrats have said, let's reform the police, but let's support the police. Is that what they said two summers ago? What a complete liar this guy is. A complete fraud. Go ahead. Have all of these people coming on TV and saying, oh, the people aren't going to be suckered by that. or something. But they were. They were. I mean, that was that was a huge issue in 2020. Now Republicans 
have moved on to critical race theory, uh, uh, from what I understand, uh, something that's not even taught uh, in Virginia schools. But that's not even taught in Virginia schools. A moron and a liar. Want to see more Mark Levin? Go to levintv.com and subscribe now.